I guess it's meant to be a wrinkle. The line on her forehead makes it look like she's like an animatronic. And that that's where her head would like pop open. I do not want you tracking mud all over this house. What, so I'm not allowed outside? What the fuck? Why would this be in somebody's house? How do you do? I'm Nigel Mukherjee. I'm researching the Penvalent family, and Mrs. Drake has graciously opened the library for me. Eleanor Penvalent, tried and convicted of witchcraft in 1650. Quite the height of the witch trials here in Essex. Wait. It was rumored that Cromwell arranged the conviction. Wait, wait, wait. We're in Essex. <laughs> In 1557, sheep herders reported seeing a creature with gleaming red eyes, the head and fur of a wolf, and the body of a human. I was playing in Mommy's room when she wasn't there, and when I looked up, there was a lady, all dressed in black, putting something on Mommy's nightstand. What the fuck? Can right, I try let's do the a puzzle. jigsaw puzzle? I, I didn't know it was going to be speed puzzling. Oh, Five this minutes. Why must I fail the jigsaw? Oh, it's okay, I've done it. Have you ever seen anything strange outside? Once Jeez. I saw my Uncle Roger's toupee fly off during a windstorm. <laughs> Talk about freaky. The symptoms of lycanthropy. Oh, look, this a number. This number just might come in handy. I can't believe it. She's totally turning into a werewolf. An introduction to runes. Runes are a set of symbols that came to Britain with the ancient Germanic people who immigrated to the country around 450 AD. They were used throughout Northern Europe during the Dark Ages. Because these symbols were used for writing, among other things, they can be termed an alphabet. The original runic alphabet was made up of 24 symbols and is known as the Elder Futhark. The runes were comprised of straight lines so they could be easily cut into wood or stone. Oh bloody hell, I'm gonna have to remember all this, aren't I? Well, I'm never gonna remember it. I guess I can screenshot stuff as I go. Actually, maybe I should be doing that. Is this one of those games where you should take notes? It probably is. So I'm just gonna like take some pictures of these pages. I'm thinking ahead. Now I'm thinking with portals. I don't want to realise later that I uh, missed a trick not doing that. I use that to make cakes for Lulu the parrot. That's why the ingredients are so nasty. Like I would eat mealworms. Aren't you that glad checks you out. don't have to use that thing to cook our food? I it's cute. What happened to it? I guess you could say I happened to it, but it was Ethel's ah. fault. She inspired me to study the oxidation rates of different kinds of cookie doughs. Only my snickerdoodle experiment got away from me. <laughs> I really like Jane. She's great. Okay. Salami! Do you mind if I make something? Go right ahead. Can I make a treat I for Polly? I will the oven until I have something to bake. Do you mind if I make something? Go right ahead. Yum, yummy, yum, yum, yum. Should I just take like one of everything? Salami. Nuts. Mm. Beans. Crackers. Milk chocolate crunchies. All of this sounds, most of this sounds not good for, oh, blueberries. For a bird. Mealworms. And avocado. This is not gonna be good for Lulu. What is that? Oh no, sorry, I just wanted to like... Well, maybe it's fine. Maybe I won't kill the parrot using this disgusting food I've created. Who's this? That's my mum, my real mum. She's an opera singer. It's not wow. like she's famous or anything, but she does live in Paris. Wow. Very cool. Thanks, Jane. Very cool. What is this book? Don't know, really. Ethel gave it to me. She said it belonged to my grandfather. Do you think Brady Armstrong is cute? Who? I don't, I'm sorry, kid. I don't know. What's all this? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is my case journal. Because I'm a senior detective, I don't need a task list. Oh, I'm starting to think I might have made a mistake. <laughs> okay. I mean, this is all going to be something later, right? And it's kind of neat. 
but it doesn't really mean anything to me right now. Okay. That was written by Charles Pemberton way back in like the 1500s. When I read it, it seemed really familiar, you know? As the moon rises upon thee, fear not, but draw upon the strength of absent friends, and toast to their memories and happiness and wonder. With the stalwart heart of a knight, let charity be thy guiding angel. Stay firm in the knowledge as a dedicated... Ge geometer? Seometer. Geometer. And fear not the ravages of father time. For, dear child, as you learn the lessons of folly, the secrets of this world shall dawn in thy soul. Oldie text is not the, always the easiest to read. It's nice though, I like it. Was that, did that just... I'm sorry. Was it my eyes or did that just blink? Maybe it was just like a, an effect of the lighting. That is weird. On the wall in Jane's room is a tapestry that rambles on about moons and geometers and other weird stuff. Yes, yes. Right, I think I need to do the puzzle in my room. And I am gonna just take a picture of each of these. Back in the day, I was a proper get out a big uh, notepad and pencil and write everything down kind of kid when I played these sort of games. Uh, these days, I do tend to take a photo, to be honest. Although I still, uh, I still like a old fighting fantasy game. Uh, and in those, I do... I do still get out a big old... Oh yeah, I can speak to Paliki Vadas now. Um, I do still use a big piece of paper and pen and uh, get to uh, mapping that way. Right, so I think... I still think I want Bruma. Which has Draco North, Lit, Lit, oh, I've got a picture on my phone. Uh, Draco North, Leo East, Pisces West. But then, so maybe that's where I went wrong. Maybe the, oh, wait, the Lynx is in the center. Maybe that's the, because there is an icon there. Maybe the Lynx is meant to be all black. Wonder what this <gasps> is. Yeah, I did a puzzle. <laughs> so proud i'm sorry that is not a good way to play a puzzle game i'm just really pleased that means that i got the other ones right using my own big brain well done me okay so that's to do with the telescope which is obviously something that we need is that a piece of a telescope there can i not take this with me no i guess not can i look at that no can i put it in uh, this. No. Never mind. Okay. Not yet. So I guess I need an actual, like, uh, I didn't even notice this before. Look at that. That's very impressive. Helios? Or, um,. Who's the other ancient god sun guy? Oh, can I? Is this? Hold on. Ha 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 ha! Oh my god, we're cooking with gas. Oh shit. Okay. So this is the star sign. This will relate to the. Um... Where did I? S oh, was it? I think it was on the internet. Why stars seem to move, right? No, that's the the beast. Why the stars seem to move? Did this have the zodiac in it? Yes! Zodiac symbols. Is this zodiac and stars? Or just, it's just zodiac, right? Am I meant to do them in order? So it goes... Aries, Taurus, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Aries, 
uh, Taurus, Gemini, I know that because that's me, Cancer, oh Cancer, and then I need to go back to my phone, <laughs> back to the web. Considering, like, the, some of the stuff that's a little bit frustrating about having to go back and forth is just because of the sort of limitation of the game design, I actually think this is really well put together. Like, this is better put together in that it feels more intuitive and doable than a lot of modern puzzle games I've played. Cancer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. Leo, Virgo, Leo, uh, Virgo, Virgo? Libra, Scorpio. I should take a picture of this. I, why didn't I do that? I did that on the other one. Why didn't I do that here? Right. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn must be this, Aquarius, Pisces. Woo! Yeah, baby! Don't mind if I do. It's a little moon! How cute. Can I take this back? No, I guess I don't. I guess I don't need it anymore. Cool. Now I've got a little moon thing. Oh, an hour has passed, I guess. Okay. What time is it? Look at my clock. It's 9pm? I only got up an hour ago, didn't I? I swear it was 7am like a minute ago. Right? I haven't even had anything to eat yet. Hello, I'm hungry. Hi, this Hi, is Tommy. Nancy Drew. I'm supposed to call you if I want some food. Right, right. Nancy Drew, out at the old Blackmore Manor, are you? Coo. I hope they're getting well paid for this. They must be. About your kitchen, but we'll fix I am Aunt Marvin. Posh, just tell me what you'd like. Uh, okay. What do you have? We've got some Finally, a voice that is appropriate to the location. Fine pinky and perky, and a delicious dog's eye, me fork and knife, just rubber ducked. We got a proper copy. Hello. Um, <laughs> could you cooking in a in an Essex Ooh, pub? This makes sense. Bangers and mash, pinky and perky, and a dog's eye, and they're all Robin Hood. They're all rather good. Oh, bangers, bangers and, and mash, mash, please. Radio, Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder. Uh, yes, please. Uh, okay. All right then. We'll come round and leave it at your Rory. Oh, Thank we've you. got no hot potato about, so it might take a bit, but we'll have it up to you in no time. Fish and titers. See you later. <laughs> that was wonderful. That made me really happy. Can we speak to Hugh? Hugh Penvalin here. Hello, Mr. Penvalin. This is Nancy Drew. I'm the one who's visiting Linda. You know, from the United States, across the pond. Yes, of course. Are you at Blackmore? Yes, I am, and I've talked to Linda. I'm phoning you from there, so yes. That's something I've been quite unable to do lately. These temper tantrums of hers make rational discourse well nigh impossible. Well, he sounds like a bit of a tit. Uh, How long have these tantrums been going on? I won't say that to him. I better not. Italy. We'll be talking on the phone about the weather or Jane's lessons or something equally innocuous, and suddenly she'll be bellowing at me and slamming the phone down. It sounds like she's turning into a werewolf. Have you considered looking into lycanthropy? There must be something that sets her off. Everything sets her off. I promise you, these rages of hers are totally uncalled for and quite unbearable. I love her dearly, but she is making things very difficult. That sounds like me at a certain time of the month. I understand. Got to be understanding for a few days, sir. Aunt Letitia, we're not very close, however. She's always been rather aloof. 
much more interested yeah. in being a Penvalin than a person, if you know what I mean. Oh, I Does know Linda what you mean. get along with her? As far as I know, yes. Although I have caught my aunt eyeing Linda strangely at times. And of course, there's the six-month habitation clause. The what? According to the Penvalin rules of inheritance, the spouse of Blackmore Manor's current owner, that would be Linda since I'm the current owner, the spouse of the current owner must reside in the manor for at least six months. Should she or what? he leave the manor before six months is up, ownership of one half of the estate immediately passes to the next legal heir. And that would be Mrs. Drake. Correct. Oh my god, it's a setup. It's a Scooby Doo setup. She's trying to. Mrs. Drake's trying to make. Linda thinks she's turning into a werewolf so she can inherit the house. I met your daughter Jane. Maybe. Quite the bundle of energy, isn't she? She's delightful. I get the feeling that she's a little lonely. I'm sure she is, what with a private tutor instead of school and Linda being. under the weather. And coming back to Blackmore no doubt reminds her of her real mother. Renee I like and I were divorced almost two years ago. Jane went into a bit of a tailspin for a while, but she's come to adore Linda. She's been Aww. calling her mummy since the day we were married. Ah. It was nice talking to you. This is an extremely busy time for me, so I apologize in advance if you call and I'm unavailable. I understand. Good. Cheerio. Cheerio, Hugh. Right, where's me bangers and mash? I demand bangers and mash immediately. <laughs> oh! Who is that? What the fuck? It was totally Mrs. Drake in a costume, wasn't it? What's hmm. it? What's this? What they dropped the bunch of shit? Made those red eyes I saw outside the night I arrived. Oh my god, it's a hundred percent a Scooby Doo situation. Can I look at them? No. Okay, well, cool. Interesting. Oh, can I give uh, Lulu the food I made? Who's hey, Lulu. Bird in the Hi, the Lulu. The door! The door! Hello! Bye, bird. Oh. Don't leave me! Hang on. I love you! Oh my god. Lulu, we just met. Top of the morning to you, matey. Bye, bird. Cheerio. Cheerio. I guess I can't. Can I not feed you yet? Or did I make you something hideously disgusting? Uh oh, not good. Stay away. Stay away. What's not good? Behind you. Don't look. Don't look. Are you playing You're a trick playing on me? You're just playing a joke on me, aren't you? Don't look. Don't look. Okay, I won't. Nothing there. Fold ya. <laughs> Bye, bird. Bye, bird. Damn it, Lulu! You're gonna need a bigger boat. Stop! <laughs> Polly is a stupid bird! Polly is a stupid bird! You're gonna need a bigger boat. Guess she's not in her room. Well, I guess she's still downstairs tending to the plants, right? Although it's like 9pm, isn't it? When's a pub gonna be here with my food? <laughs> Where's my bangers and mash? Hello. Can we? Whoa. It stopped working. What? No. No. Like it kind of looked like one of those. Um, what's his name? The fortune tellers that you get at, like carnivals and stuff. It kind of looked like that at first, but I think it's like a card game or something. Very weird. Uh. Are you going to speak to Mrs. Drake again? She's in... That's weird. Oh look, they've all got a specific like coat of arms underneath them. That's going to be a thing later. That's totally going to be a thing later. Should I take a photo? I better take a photo. I'll take a photo of all these. I'm going to be so prepared, I'm going to whiz through every puzzle in this game. You're not going to believe it. Is the one in the cloak the one... Is that um Eleanor? What's that noise? Why is it doing a scary noise? Take a little picture of you guys. A little doggy. Little doggy. That's a very regal looking picture. I want a like a stupid uh like a stupid um 
uh, what's, what, what am I trying to say? Like an old fashioned portrait of me. I want a stupid old fashion, fashion portrait of me and Matt. That'd be really funny. I think that'd be really funny to have in the house. Okay. So this is a thing. Why has the music gone so scary? <laughs> There's no need for this. There's no need for this to go all freaky. Oh, there's the lady with the, um, yeah, that's right, with the telescope that's got the thing. Yeah, 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 the thing from my room. Oh my gosh, parrot! Paoris ad animum. 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 Paoris ad amin animum. Fucking hell. Animum. It's not easy. Oh, this must be our, our current guy, Hugh. So he's not... What do they... So, hang on. So do they all have their own qu crest and Hugh hasn't got one yet? It's a little bit weird. Alright, I'm going to go and see Mrs... Whatever she's called. Mrs. Doubtfire. Um, I'm going to see if I can talk to her about the uh, six-month claws. And how coincidental that is. Oh, someone's at the front door doorbell. Hello, Mrs. Thing, we do. I apologize, I've forgotten your name. Yes. Oh, uh, the, yeah, the card machine in the Great Hall is broken. machine in the Great Hall, but it's broken. It's not broken. I removed its crank as it was proving to be too much of a distraction for Jane. I suppose I could see where it's gone to. But in the meantime, be a dear and do something for me, would you? What do you mean, see where it's gone to? You removed it. Sure. Okay. Do you see that hodgepodge of plants over there? They're my prize seedlings. I had them uh -oh. perfectly arranged in that box so I could easily move them about to catch the light. Unfortunately, okay. Jane took all of them out when I wasn't looking. And now for the life of me, I cannot get them back in the box so that they all fit. Why don't you give oh, it a I try while I see about that crank? If we both succeed, we shall both be happy. If you catch my meaning. Remember yeah, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Box. All right, okay. I can do this. Easy peasy. Okay. Planty. Planty. Am I literally just putting them in the box? Okay. So maybe some... Is this gonna- am I gonna feel stupid because it's actually gonna turn out to be really hard? Ah, uh, whoops. This seems bad already. This already seems quite bad. Oh no. I should never have tried to sound all smug about it. I thought it was gonna be one of those ones where they quite easily slide into place, you know? Oh, that looks quite good. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This doesn't seem right because there's like a gap there. But then how else do I... where else do I put this one? Oh, God, this is hard. This is real hard. No wonder she couldn't do it. Why are they all ping back to a... Okay. Oh, I can rotate them. Oh, flippin' heck. Right, okay. Right. Well, this changes things, doesn't it? Bloody hell. Look at that. Look at them all squeezing in nicely now. Oops. She says. And I can rotate. Oh. There. If I'd known at the start I could rotate them, that wouldn't have uh, that wouldn't have taken me so long. But I did it. Uh ma'am. Oh hello. Oh. Hey! It really roared like a lion. Hey, do you want this? Ow! Okay, it doesn't want the crazy food. I made the bird. That checks out. Nobody wants that. I guess it wants, like, flies or something. There are a lot of flies around here, which makes me think that I am supposed to, like, capture some ah! flies to feed it or something. Oh! 
Oh no! Oh! <laughs> Did I break the game by getting in the plant? Oopsie poopsie! Oh no, I gotta do the puzzle again! Okay, right, note to self. Do not get in the, <laughs> in the man-eating plant. It's bad. Yes. It's tempting, but it's bad. I'm there we go. And you. And you. And you. Eh. There. Right. I've done it. Ma'am, I did it. Now look at that again. Ow! Maybe I should try feeding it something. Yeah. Yeah. But not me. And we go to the menu and we save. Don't jump in plant. <laughs> okay. Good. Good.